working right now as an example on the nationwide education and awareness campaign that came out of the Dr. Lorna Breen Healthcare Provider Protection Act, which was the law that President Biden signed March 18th, 2022 named after my sister-in-law. And it has a number of programmatic elements, but one is this national education and awareness campaign. And in that work, we're doing all these in-depth interviews with healthcare workers and healthcare leaders from across the country. And what we're hearing in that is there's a gap between what the workforce is saying they need and what leaders think they're providing. So we're trying to create a bridge and be the bridge between the workforce and leadership. It is shared or conveyed that we need to care for other people first, but especially in healthcare or a a helping kind of profession where by very nature, what you're doing is caring for other people. But when you get that imbalance off, I spend a lot of time talking with leaders and reminding them that taking care of themselves first, not in a selfish kind of way, but in a way that truly allows them to be able to have something to offer when they go to serve other people is vitally important. And to see the light bulbs go off when we have that conversation is a reminder time and time again that whatever is wired in us wires a different way of thinking that we need to shift when we're thinking about how we care for ourselves and each other. What do they need us to be doing? Understanding what our core business was. What else do you need? How are we doing? And in those conversations, you get the roadmap. Those conversations need to be being had by management of all level with their workforce. And they need to go something like this. Aaron, I am seeing national news that less than 50% of the healthcare workforce currently feels valued and supported by their organizations. What does it mean for you to feel valued and supported by me as a leader and by this organization? That right there, you were gonna get out of that answer, 98% of the solution of how you address this. But it requires you to ask the question, create an environment of trust with your team members 